Pay when paid provisions are provisions used in construction subcontracts to detail when the subcontractor will be paid after the contractor has been paid by the owner. Southern States Masonry v. J.A. Jones Construction lays the groundwork for interpreting these provisions. The owner of the 1984 Louisiana World's Fair entered into construction contracts with general contractors to build the fair. One contractor was J.A. Jones Construction Company, who entered into a subcontract with Southern States Masonry for Southern to complete concrete masonry work on the fair's amphitheater and two pavilions. Another contractor was Landis Construction Company, who entered into a subcontract with Strayan Painting Company for painting and related work on the fair's Wonder Wall. The fair's owner filed for bankruptcy before fully paying its general contractors. Jones was partially paid and attempted to recover the remaining payment, but wasn't successful. Jones only paid Southern for work the fair's owner paid Jones for. Landis was also only partially paid. Landis refused to pay Strayan until Landis was paid by the fair's owner. In doing so, both Jones and Landis relied on subcontract provisions that said the subcontractor would get paid after the contractor was paid by the owner. The contract between Jones and Southern stated that the contractor would pay the subcontractor the full subcontract amount upon receipt of payment from the owner. A final payment clause said that the unpaid balance would be made within 45 days of the last of certain occurrences, including final payment by the owner to the contractor. Southern sued Jones to recover the amount due. Jones moved for summary judgment. The court dismissed the case, saying payment to Southern was conditioned on payment to Jones by the fair's owner. Southern appealed. The Fifth Circuit affirmed.